This is Zen English Podcast, a mini podcast trying to help you find your voice in English. Your voice. Do you modify your voice when you're speaking English? Or do you use the same intonation patterns and mannerisms and muscles as when you speak your native language? There is an old expression, when you learn another language, you gain another soul. Well, that soul has a different mind and different gestures, different intonation, certainly, and different mannerisms. But in order to attain all of those things with this new soul, you need to practice. What is practicing when you are practicing things that are not natural to yourself? Well, that practice is called acting. It's highly recommendable to consider yourself as an actor or an actress as you speak a foreign language like English. Take on different gestures and mannerisms. Use your hands in different ways. Certainly you must change your intonation pattern. Trying to imitate others is one idea, but another idea is simply try to do and perform the way you can. Stretch your syllables. Raise and lower the pitch and tone of your voice whenever you can. Play with it. Your voice and how you act and move, even facial expressions, are all toys and games that you should try to manipulate in different ways just to experiment, to see how it affects your communication. This will start you on the road to eventually being able to imitate native speakers, and then after that step, you will take on your own original native-like intonation patterns, pronunciation, mannerisms, and gestures, all of which will take your English to the next level. There's another old expression, fake it until you make it. To fake it means to do something that is not real, it's maybe even superficial, but eventually, after all of this practice, and again, conscientious, purposeful practice of trying to use your hands, your face muscles, your intonation, your pronunciation in different ways, all of this will lead to modifications in your new self that is in English, and that will lead to an openness which will allow you to eventually develop your own personality, your own spirit, your own soul in English. These are simple ideas, but they're difficult to put into practice. Will this feel silly and unnecessary at the beginning? Absolutely. After a short time, you will see that this is easy to put into place. It simply becomes a habit, much like putting on your seatbelt in the car. Give it a shot and start developing your new soul with its own personality in English. This has been Zen English Podcast.